So we are working on this question that came from the class that uh, there is an underground hemispherical tank as shown here which is which has a radius of 10 feet and it is filled with oil of density 50 pounds per cubic feet and we have to find the work done in pumping all this oil to the ground level if the tank is six feet below the ground level and let's not worry about this mechanism let's just let's just assume that there is an engineering device or some process to pump it out here so let us look at a thin slab here and for com computational convenience let's take this as axis of x and this as uh, the axis of y and uh, then we have the coordinates of this point here as x and y so what we got so far before we compute the height of uh, this uh, the slab here is uh, y and the radius here is x so what we will be doing and then let's take this thin slab or thin slice as having a width of delta y so the thin slice may be taken as a, a small disk so the volume of that will be the area of the face which is pi times the radius square remember this is the radius and then times the thickness delta y and the weight of this uh, thin slice is how much we have to multiply it by the density now it is being pulled up through this uh, distance here okay uh, i don't know where that came from this distance here and that distance is if you look at this whole thing uh, it is uh, simply 16 feet total right so this uh, orange distance i hope you can see this color here so this orange distance would be how many 16 minus y feet so what we have to do is we have to write 16 minus y that's the distance we are pulling it or lifting it up by so once again uh, if we arrange it a little better this is 50 pi x square then 16 minus y times delta y now notice another thing that is or let me just get a different color that is if we see this is the center right that's what it, it's a hemi spherical slice so this radius is how much the radius is given to be 10 feet right and this is why so this orange distance is i hope you can see this orange color in here uh, distinguishably enough or let me take something else for contrast uh, let me take this so see this whole thing is y uh, sorry not y 10 and this much is y so this uh, leg of uh, this right triangle is how much 16 minus y so what we will have by the pythagorean theorem is this that x square plus uh, not 16 minus y i made a typo didn't i okay so let me fix it first okay so that will be uh, can't believe so this is this here sorry okay and uh, what we have is that I, that that distance that we are looking at let me make another triangle right here so this is x this is 10 and this will be not 16 minus y actually that will be 10 minus y so what we have x square then the square of this uh, leg that is 10 minus y square will be 10 square right so x square will be how much x square will be 10 square that is 100 minus 10 minus y square so what we are able to do here is that we are able to 
change x in terms of y and now our integral will be and I'm not withdrawing my apology so right here we have this that is the work done which is the force times the uh, distance and the force here is we are working against the weight of the uh, uh, weight of this thin, thin slice and then x square came out to be how much 100 minus uh, 10 minus y quantity is square and then this is being lifted by a distance of 16 minus y times delta y so what we are doing is this that we are lifting such slices all right beginning from where to where from y equals 0 to y equals 10 here all right so what our integral will be then i'm changing the software so let me just uh, you know bring it over here okay so in the integral will be how much then we are integrating it from uh, y equals 0 to y equals how much 10 then we got uh, 50 uh, i i could have typed it in before but anyways uh just let me do this foiling in my head i may make a mistake but we can correct it this is 100 and this foil this foil would be 100 minus 20 y plus y square so hundreds will cancel and uh, this would be 20 y minus y square then that plus sign will change to minus sign because of this all right so that's 20 y minus y square and then we got what 16 minus y and then we have dy you could have done it with different arrangements but it's okay that's uh, how we proceeded so i'm just factoring the constant out uh constant is 15 pi here 50 pi here so we got this and uh, then we will go ahead and multiply these two out so again i hope you will let me use the uh, uh the computer to do that part for you that's algebra 2 and we are top we are working in calculus so uh, we got this and this would be a simple polynomial integration all right and the lower limit is real friendly all right so that should come out to equal how much 325,000 and our units were foot pounds so a feet pounds so these many uh, pound feet all right so let me know if you have any questions